Good morning. Good morning. I'd like to welcome all of you to our last terrific kid program of the year here at Browning Pierce Elementary School. And I'm very proud of the students that are here this morning. And we also have some parents and family members watching us um, on the camera. And we would like to celebrate some students that have terrific character this morning. Um, they will be receiving a special packet um, filled with some goodies, and we would like to recognize some of the um, businesses that have given some things to the students to help them commemorate this special day. Um, we have Muscle White's, CP Deli, Pax Karate, Burger King, and Beef O'Brady's that have donated certificates to the students. And we also have a gentleman here, Mr. Overturf, um, who would like to share a few words about why his organization, the Kiwanis of the Azalea City, why they sponsor this event. Mr. Overturf? Thank you, ma'am. On behalf of about 60 other members, I just want to take a moment to welcome our students, of course, first, and also those that are watching online, parents and grandparents and friends. Last week we were at Mosley, and that ended year 27 that we have done terrific kids at the elementary schools in Putnam County. And so we're certainly proud of you. In a moment, she's going to be reading to you what your teachers have said and even sometimes your fellow classmates have said about you and how you are working on your, your character, on the uh, personality uh, situations that, that we know are important to help you to grow to be a great uh, citizens here in our community. So we're certainly proud of you. We say thank you for what you're doing and just keep up the good work. Thank you, Mr. Overturf. Ms. Bellamy is up here helping me. And she has a special coin that she will be giving each student from our information technology department. Students, when your name is called, if you'll come stand right up here in front of the podium and look at the camera and we will recognize you for you being terrific today. Our first student who we would like to come up is Starlin Bozeman from Ms. Admire's pre-K class. Starlin is a kind-hearted pre-K student with an excitement for learning. She stays on task throughout the day and even helps others get their assignments completed. She is friends with everyone because the entire class recognizes her goodness and willingness to help others, and they have all agreed that Starlin is a terrific kid from Ms. Admire and Ms. Bobby's pre-K class. David Sockhorn. David has made so much progress this year. He is meeting goals and impressing his teachers every day. David is a happy student and he is kind to his friends. Great job, David. We are proud of you from Ms. Curry's class. Bailey Johnson. <laughs> Bailey is a model student to her peers. She always comes to school eager to learn. She is a kind friend to her classmates and is always willing to help. Bailey has made a lot of growth this year academically and is becoming a strong reader. I am proud of her from Miss Wall in kindergarten. <laughs> Kaylin Johns. <laughs> Kaylin has been chosen as terrific kid for so many reasons. She is a great listener, pays attention while I'm teaching, and is a kind friend. Kaylin follows directions and is very respectful and polite and always practices good social distancing skills. She works hard at being the very best kindergartner that she can be. It is a pleasure to have Kaylin in my class this year, and I'm certain that her classmates feel the same way too. We are all proud of you, Kaylin. You are truly one terrific kid from Miss Hendrith in kindergarten. <laughs> Caleb, come on up. Caleb was nominated as our terrific kid because he has come so far this year. He is like a completely different student than he was at the beginning of the year. He makes good choices and is almost always on blue or green on our behavior chart 
and he's always the first one to speak up to help out a fellow classmate. Caleb, I couldn't be prouder of you. You are one terrific kid. And this is from Miss Blanks in kindergarten. <laughs> Jacob McMahon. <laughs> Jacob was nominated as our class terrific kid for this nine weeks. Jacob always comes to class prepared to learn and constantly has a positive attitude and is always smiling. Jacob puts 100% in everything he does and is always kind to his classmates. It's such a joy to have Jacob in my class this year. Way to go, sweet boy. Keep up the great work from Ms. Orr in kindergarten. <laughs> Elizabeth Duran Santiago, come on up. Elizabeth is such a joy to have in the classroom. She is always respectful to her teacher and her classmates. Elizabeth is always engaged during class and willing to help others. I am so glad she is in my class this year. This is from Miss Brown in kindergarten. <laughs> Kelvin Townsend. Kelvin comes to class every day with a smile that lights up the room. He is an excellent writer and he is reading like a pro. Kelvin also puts his best work into every assignment he is given. We are so proud to have you as our terrific kid and for all your hard work. This is from Miss Pogue in kindergarten. <laughs> Lainey Tilton. Lainey has been nominated as our terrific kid for many reasons. Lainey comes to school with a smile, ready to work and help her peers along the way. Lainey has over 155 AR points and has passed 335 quizzes this year so far. I am proud of the progress she has made and can't wait to see the amazing things she will accomplish in the future. Congratulations, Lainey, from Miss Dollar in first grade. Raheem Betts. <laughs> Raheem is a wonderful student. He makes high scores in I Ready Reading and Math and has the absolute best smile and loves to share that with others, even though he has to hide it for a bit under his mask. He is an awesome reader and a great friend. Raheem is truly one terrific kid from Miss Murrow in kindergarten. <laughs> First grade. Emily Roark from Miss Spears class. <laughs> Emily has made great growth in math and reading and I am so proud of her. She has shown great dedication in her work and has given her best all year. This is from Miss Spears in first grade. <laughs> Levi Denegal. Levi is very respectful. Though he started the school year virtually, he acclimated to our class routines quickly. He gained friends quickly, and the students were glad he joined our class. He gets along well with his classmates. He takes accelerated reader tests daily. Just last week, he passed 19 books. He was super excited. Not only is he doing better in reading, he's also doing better in math. He is so happy when he tells me he passed a math lesson on iReady. I am so proud of his accomplishments. He seems to really enjoy school, and we look forward to seeing him in class each day. This is from Miss Murray in first grade. <laughs> Estefani Morales Lopez. Estefani comes prepared to class every day and is always willing to help her fellow students. She shows super character and reminds her classmates of the rules and procedures throughout the day. She always has a positive attitude and welcomes new challenges. In addition, she gives her best in all her classwork. This class is blessed to have a su the super student. And this is from Mrs. Tipton in first grade. <laughs> Bella Capaletti. <laughs> 
Bella is a truly terrific kid. She is such an enthusiastic learner who is so academically driven. She puts forth her best effort no matter the task. She is extremely well liked by all her teachers and peers and is always willing to do anything to help out a friend. I love how complimentary she is to me and her friends and always has a beautiful smile on her face. Bella is undoubtedly an absolute pleasure to teach and a most definite asset to my classroom. Keep reading, sweet girl. Love you lots from Ms. Owens in second grade. Luke Fryer. I am honored to submit Luke Fryer to be our class terrific kid. His name describes the great student he is. The L stands for lovable manners he demonstrates towards all adults and classmates. The U stands for unconditional leadership he demonstrates in his class, always willing to help his teacher as well as his classmates. K stands for kindness he shows as he walks through the classroom door each morning with a smile and E stands for the enthusiasm he demonstrates for learning. This is why Luke is our class terrific kid from Miss McCoy. Stetson Nimnik. Stetson was nominated because he earned 98% in his math I ready lessons and 88% for his reading lessons. He has an AR word count of 121,714 and he has passed all the Sunshine State reader books. He works hard on his spelling tests and is determined to reach his weekly goals and is dedicated to make sure he stays on task all the time. I'm proud of you, Stetson. This is from Miss Habay in second grade. Ryan Harris. Ryan is a great kid. He is respectful to adults and kind to his friends. He has a super tender heart and it makes him so compassionate to others. He's a hard worker in class and amazing at math. It's been my pleasure being Ryan's teacher for second grade and all of this is why Ryan is our terrific kid from Miss Moss in second grade. Lauren Austin. Lauren is a very respectful person. She loves to learn new things and has a wide interest when it comes to reading genres. She is liked by her classmates because she is fair and willing to help or listen. Our class family would definitely not be complete without a student like Lauren. And this is from Ms. Ballard in second grade. Lillian Thornton. Lillian is one of our online students and she was nominated because she tries hard each day to participate and has made many strides this year. She is always eager to learn and shows up each day with a smile and Lillian is a delight to have in the classroom. Our next student is Kaylee Mendez Vasquez. Kaylee comes into the classroom each morning ready to learn. She is always prepared and ensures that she completes all of her assignments with care and detail. Kaylee is also a wonderful friend to her classmates and is a great example for others to follow. It has been a pleasure to have her in class this year. She is a terrific kid for Mrs. Davis in third grade. <laughs> Zakaya Johnson. Zakaya was chosen because she worked very hard this year on academic goals and she has crushed them. Reason two, she was chosen. She brings a pleasant attitude into the classroom and works well with all classmates when partnered or grouped for lessons. Reason three, is she completes her homework and class assignments on time and offers to help others who are struggling. Zakaya has a strong desire to learn and accomplish her goals and I believe she will be a lifelong learner that will con conquer everything in her way. This is from Mrs. Maddox in third grade. 
Amari Scott. Amari comes to school eager to learn. He works well with his classmates and is always willing to help those in need. He is a leader and works hard each and every day. We are proud of you, Amari. This is from Mrs. Croft in the third grade class. <laughs> Jonah Lise Aceveda Ojedo. Joan Elise is an amazing trier. She always gives me her best effort and works hard every day. She is also a beautiful reader and never hesitates to read out loud in class. Joan Elise always helps her peers and works well together with everyone. I have thoroughly enjoyed having her in my class this year from Miss Lark in third grade. <laughs> Wendy Chin. Wendy was voted among her classmates to be the terrific kid for the fourth nine weeks because she is an incredibly hard worker, respectful student, and good friend. I can always count on Wendy to help me out in class, and she always works hard every minute she's in school. I could be more proud to award terrific kid to Wendy. It's been a joy to have her in class this year. This is from Ms. Jennison in fourth grade. Kimberly Beeler. <laughs> Emmy was nominated by her peers because she is always kind and willing to lend them a helping hand. She is a great friend to all and puts a smile on everyone's face. We are so lucky to have her in our class. This is from Miss Fox in fourth grade. <laughs> Anaya Camps. Anaya is very responsible and a hard worker in our hybrid fourth grade class. Anaya is polite and respectful throughout the day and listens attentively during instruction and volunteers to answer questions or take a turn reading aloud. During interactive math time, she eagerly participates and shows her work on her whiteboard. Anaya is trustworthy, caring, and kind towards her classmates. She is able to lead her small group during cooperative learning and make sure to include all members of the group in discussions. She is a sweet young lady with a positive attitude and it is a pleasure to teach a terrific student like Anaya. This is from Ms. Paula Simmons in fourth grade. <laughs> Abigail Dykes. Abby is such a pleasure to have in class, and she brightens my day. She always works hard to complete the learning goals at hand and continues to improve every day because of her determination to succeed. Abby's eagerness to please and her positive attitude is why I'm proud to say Abigail Dykes is my terrific kid from Mrs. Yeomans in fourth grade. <laughs> Jessa Pogue. Jessa is the terrific kid for Miss Browning's fourth grade class because she's a friend to all and includes everyone. She's always willing to work with anyone and help out whatever, wherever she needs to. Jessa speaks kindly to her classmates and treats other students and adults with respect. Jessa always takes her time and strives to do her best work in class. Thank you for being a great example to others. And this is from Mrs. Browning in fourth grade. Marcus Johnson is taking a test this morning, but we're going to read some nice words about him. Marcus is a bright student. He is focused and very polite. He is a man of few words and gets directly to the point, whether asking questions or answering questions. When he sends messages through Canvas, he communicates clearly and gets to the point. Marcus is strong in each subject and seems to enjoy them all equally. I see great potential in him. I hope that I'm able to have Marcus in my class again next year to see a little more of his personality come out in a physical classroom. This is from Mr. Pinkerton in fifth grade. <laughs> Zariah Robinson. 
Zariah always comes to school prepared and ready to work. She gets along with her classmates great and is always willing to help in any way that she can. It is evident that Zariah really loves school. She always has a smile on her face and is a pleasure to have in class. Zariah, you are a wonderful student from Mrs. Revels in fifth grade. Lisa Robinson. I chose Lisa for Terrific Kid because she is a student that embodies all of the qualities of a terrific kid. She always has a smile on her face and is a hard worker. Lisa even enjoys going to lower grade classrooms to assist other teachers. She's a friend to everybody and an absolute joy to have as a student. She will do great things wherever she goes in life. This is from Mr. Hughes in fifth grade. <laughs> Caleb Blackwelder. <laughs> Caleb is a joy to have in class. He is organized and turns in his assignments on time. Caleb has a good heart and wants to make sure the people that he is bonded with are taken care of. He enjoys seeing others laugh and have a good time. I'm excited to see him grow, and I wish him all the best in his future endeavors. This is from Mrs. Bennett. <laughs> Gabriella Ayala. Gabriella has shown persistence and dedication in proving her academic achievements. Her dedication has enabled her to become one of the top achievers amongst her peers. She is also very well behaved and disciplined and was able to overcome her shyness to become a confident young lady who exerts a positive influence among her group members. And this is from Mrs. Campbell in fifth grade. Kevin Lehman. Kevin is an awesome kid. He excels academically, and I am proud of the fact that he showed the most growth on the Math I Ready Diagnostic. Kevin loves Pokemon cards and playing football at recess with his classmates. He also shares with me helpful tips on how to properly care for our class pet the geckos. I feel so grateful that I have been given the opportunity to be Kevin's teacher this year. He is a friend to all and his kindness is a gift. Thank you from Mrs. Bergen in fifth grade. So congratulations to all of our terrific kids. We are very proud of all of them and we thank all of our watchers who are watching our show today from home. And we hope everybody has a wonderful day, and we thank you our, to all of our sponsors. Have a great day. catch your eye and you come to realize one can make a difference reach out stand out find out what it's all about see it all stand tall be there to catch them when they fall life is bigger than just one Nothing changes quite as much as change And the things we rearrange Trying to make 
make a difference Reach down, deep down Look at the sky of another town Listen well, the wind will tell you Something good is in the air oh, Life is bigger than just one oh, oh. But one can make a difference Can make a difference. 